Good morning, everyone. How are you? It is Lori, and I am here to do your daily message for you. Let's roll this zodiac die and see what signs you're dealing with. You have just rolled very strong protective energy here. Leo, Capricorn, up top. Taurus to the right, Sagittarius to the left, Virgo to the bottom, and Aries bottom right. Oh my goodness, very strong protective energies here. Let me turn my little... Whoops. There we go. All right, that's Miss McGonagall. McGon McGonagall. McGon <laughs> I can't even say it. Like in Harry Potter. That's our wise uh, owl here. All right, and you guys know Hoon and Amoogan. All right, let's see what we have here for... Oh, and little it over here in the corner. He's hiding. He's playing shy this morning. Going to keep an eye on y'all, though. Okay, going to keep an eye on you. I think I bumped the camera. There we go. Your overall energy, my loves, is going to be... Difficult? No. <laughs> Woohoo! I saw sunshine there, but it didn't come out. The sun is trying to come out here. It's been overcast all morning. Oh, I saw the Empress. Let's see what you ended up with, though. King of Cups, emotionally satisfied. Some sort of celebration here. Good energy. You're either toasting your own success or somebody else's, but I'm getting that it's like congratulations you achieved your goal this is emotional happiness satisfaction beautiful energy here again this could be your own success or you toasting someone else now it could be the birth of a, a new uh, child grandchild great grandchild this could be the uh, beginning of a brand new something here. Partnership, relationship, whatever it is, it's bringing you very deep emotional satisfaction. Absolutely love that energy for you. All right, let's go ahead and see what else we get for you. Too many cards. Your oh, your obstacle here or challenge to this situation is the six of wands. Not stealing the show. Interesting. That's not a Libra way to steal the show. However, sometimes you don't have to do much of anything. Just being yourself actually puts eyes on you. Because you are so quiet half the time, okay? Like, if you go quiet, people want to know why. So this could be about um, you know something and people may be coming to you. Hmm. And this is definitely a different energy. I've never felt anything like this before. So just be careful that you don't upstage somebody unintentionally, okay? So that is going to require you thinking, you paying attention to what's happening around you to make sure that you don't, that that does not happen. Now, it could be that you just have some sort of information here, but you, you can't, you cannot share that wisdom with anybody. You cannot share that information with anybody, it's a secret. You may be hanging on to a secret for somebody else or yourself. All right, so there may be something about this celebration. Maybe you're, you're not ready to announce whatever it is you've achieved. All right, let's move on and see what we have here as what's on your mind. Are you a speculator? Do you speculate or do you mine? <laughs> if you know what I mean, drop me a little gold chunk in the comments. <laughs> oh, there's some fun energies around this morning. Yes, there are. What's on your mind? Oh, two of cups. Chemistry. Definitely creating something beautiful here. 
balanced and whole and healthy. Oh, this feels so nice. Now, I'm getting here that there could be a situation. Oh, you may want to tell somebody how you feel about them, that you have romantic feelings for them, but you're not sure that that's how they're going to, you're not sure how they're going to take it because you've been friends for a long time. Okay, so you're worried. You may be a little bit, that's what this could be. The secret could be too, that you want to uh, take your relationship with somebody to the next level and you're not sure how they're going to respond because it's been so healthy and good the way it is, but this dynamic could change the whole relationship. All right, let's go ahead and see what the foundation of this, uh, whatever's going on here. What's the foundation? Five of Wands. You're having trouble uh, being around this person, I'm hearing. You don't know how to be around this person without speaking your mind, but that's your challenge. You don't know how to quite take it to the next level. This is interesting because this could be a, a situation romantic. It could just be that um, you've been in a community group and you want to be friends with somebody and you're not sure how to just say, you know, hey, let's hang out. Let's do this. Let's do that. The energy feels really good. And that, that may be keeping you from expressing how you feel. You're conflicted here. Like, should I? Should I not? Should I tell them? Should I not tell them? What happens if I do? What happens if I don't? Um, so you might be a little bit conflicted here. All right. Now, there could also be, I keep getting something about a new baby being born into the family. And you have some sort of wisdom. You have some sort of knowledge about this. But you're being asked to keep it secret for now. You're finding this a little bit challenging because you want to share this with other people. Okay, there may be people coming to you saying, hey, has the baby been born yet? Hey, what's the gender of the baby? Hey, 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 whatever. But it's not your place to say and you know that and you're keeping quiet about it. Because you want to keep the peace. Okay, you know that the information will come out when it's supposed to. All right, let's take a look here at your immediate future. Let's see what your immediate future looks like here. And there's that sun card. Okay, boom, here it came right out for you. Awesome. Happiness, joy, everything's fine. Celebrations. Yeah, see, if anyone was like getting angry with you or upset with you or challenging you about you not talking about it, they're going to let it go. Everything's going to be fine. Beautiful clarity. The answers come out. That, I just realized there's the sun and the moon there. Oh, that's a gear, but it looks like the sun and the moon. There's something about that. Anything that was hidden is definitely coming out into the open. Loyalty, trust, you know, people know you. You don't have to fear that. All right, let's see what uh, the past influences were here. What was the past influence that created this situation? What more can you tell our lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, or channel fans, please, Spirit? Oh, discontent. There was a, quite a bit of discontent. Yeah, people wanted answers. Somebody wanted uh, the information, felt they deserved to know. You knew that there would be a time to celebrate. So this is not an issue. This is non-issue, okay? Discontent in the past. And it just, you know, somebody, you know what I'm getting here is that somebody was on the inside of like a group. And for some reason, they got ousted from the in, inside portion. So they're not in, they're still in the, group but they're not in the inner circle as much as they used to be so they're still in the inner circle too but they don't get all the information all the time and i think it's because they may have blabbed accidentally 
about something that was supposed to be held a secret. So they're just, you just don't trust them. The group doesn't, you know, want to put that information out there because that person may um, just accidentally say something about it. You knew there'd be a time to speak and it will heal whatever the situation is. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Let's go ahead and see how you view yourself handling this situation. What a different reading. This is not like any others. Not like any others you guys have had. All right, let's see what we have here. How do you view yourself handling this situation? There you go, Three of Pentacles, knowing completely, trusting your intuition that everything will work out just the way it's supposed to. Look at this, she's actually got three tarot cards in her hands, past, present, and future energies. So it's a knowing, it's a confidence in knowing that everything will work out as long as everybody is trying to bring mind, body, and spirit together. Okay, so there's a confidence here, a trust in intuition, um, things will work out absolutely that you'll be able to work with whatever you've got increase it make it better I'm getting that somebody see this person's like on the sidelines over here these two people are speaking to each other but there's somebody over here doing what they're supposed to be doing but they're not quite in that inner circle there's still part of it but they're not exchanging this information. Yeah, I think that's the discontent that I feel here with the Four of Cups. Three, four, five. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so there's a little dance going on here because it's two to three to four and then back up to five and then over to six. Things worked and it leads to the sun. Look at that that look at that that is beautiful that is beautiful <laughs> oh you libras interesting lives that you lead let's go ahead and see what's happening in your environment do you have the support you need or do you not need any support in this five of pentacles there is something missing here or it's sanctuary Okay, so you're at peace. You're, you're, oh, you know what? You're leading this person. Yeah, this person or situation or whatever's going on here, you're taking it by the hand. You're taking it into the future. And you're saying, we can go here to fix this. We can go here to make this better. Look, there's the pentacles being put on the wall. The gears are up there too. Okay, so there is a place that you're planning to take this energy. Now, this is a minor change, but you do have double fives here, and fives are about changes, especially the, you know, the lower changes, the little changes. I am hearing that maybe in the past, this person, like I said, maybe they just needed guidance here, and they accidentally blurted something out. This time you're going to take the situation in hand or somebody else is going to take the situation in hand to where you don't have to worry about it. All right, let's go ahead and see what else is happening here. Hopes and fears. Let's see what's happening here. Three of wands. So you've got double threes, double fives, which are what? Double eights. All right, so that's the balance in self, the balance within yourself. All right, three of wands is your hopes and fears. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You're wishing this was over and done with so you didn't have to deal with it anymore. You're keeping an eye out to make sure there's nothing brewing, okay, that you have to pay attention to or that you have to take care of or anything like that, but you're not micromanaging either. This is just like keeping an eye out from the distance, keeping your hands off and just letting things happen as they're going to. All right. Let's see what the most likely outcome is here. Well, you've got the Knight of Swords. Spirit's telling me to get you another card here. So some sort of information 
a truth that you accept as the truth. It is the truth. There is no doubt about it being the truth. The star card has tried to come out but did not. What else was it you wanted to say with this spirit? Look at that. Double sixes, double fives, double threes. So you got six of cups now. You've got the six of wands. You got the three of wands, the three of pentacles. You've got the five of wands, the five of pentacles. This six of cups with this knight of swords tells me that there is going to be peace here, that this is a relationship or a situation, a job that you've been on for a long time, a family member that you're dealing with, um, or a family situation maybe that you've been dealing with. Whatever it is, you are going to feel very, very happy about this in the end. It's like innocence is restored, friendship, compassion, love. Six of Cups is that innocent feeling before anything taught us how to be anything but open and honest and caring and adoring towards people, okay? This is that childlike innocence. Untainted love. Untainted. Look at you go to. You may actually profess your feelings or somebody may actually profess theirs. Here's the here's the Knight of Swords with the Six of Cups. And I've noticed that these two characters are the same here. Okay? Younger. You've known this person a while. You've been involved with them as a friend for a long time. You could absolutely be ready to tell them that you want to take the relationship to the next level. Looks like it's going to be successful. Um, take this message as it resonates with you and your life. On the bottom of the dock is the Knight of Wands. Passion moving forward past the fears. And look, boom, there you are again. Justice feeling whole, honest, complete. Okay, this is this has nothing to do with justice this time. This has to be with has everything to do with how you feel about yourself. That you feel you've been you're just being you. You're not putting on any masks. You don't put the blinders on. You're not judging any situations here. Look, you're letting the cards fall where they will. You're not in a position to have to judge anything. You're just being yourself. Love it. All right, so some sort of disappointment, heartache uh, is over and done with because ultimate happiness came in right behind that with the Ten of Cups. All right, let's get you some blessings, my loves. Let's see what we have here. What blessings do we have today? <laughs> I love how my phone answered me. <laughs> Usually you answer the phone, not the other way around. <laughs> Somebody clip that section, would you please? It was at 18 minutes. A handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Now, this card keeps coming out for you guys as a blessing. So it probably has not happened for all of you yet, but it's coming. Okay? So if you, you're you like, oh, yeah, yep, I'm going to meet a stranger. That's going to be important. But it hasn't happened for me. Well, keep the faith. It's on its way. All right, I just saw dolphins too. You've got wind chimes, peace and harmony. You just got that. And look at this, you just got elephant again. A long journey, either one of physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Beautiful. I'm hearing how we, and I'm hearing it just like that, how we, how we. Um, so maybe somebody says your name that way. One more here, please, Spirit. Oh, four-leaf clover was trying to come out. Let's see what we have. This is a beautiful reading. If it's yours, I would definitely claim this one. Uh, go ahead and put something in the comments. You don't have to claim it, claim it. You can put a heart. You can put a hands up. You can say, I claim it. You can say, yep, it's my story. Yep, I'm excited. I have met that stranger or I'm looking forward to the stranger. I've been on a journey, whatever you want to put in the comments. All right, let us know what's going on a little bit. Don't have to tell us our whole story, but, you know, just share. And the reason you're doing that is to show that these messages uh, mean something to you so that I keep putting out these messages for you. Um, also, don't forget you can share these messages with other people. And uh, 
you may not even realize that they have Libra in their birth chart, okay? So claim this if it's yours. Um, comment below, please. Let me know. Look at that, the hammock. Taking a vacation, physically or mentally. A long journey, physical or mental. So this could be a step back, a time of rest, a time of um, peace, happiness joy just enjoying the moment okay that's what taking a vacation is living in the moment and enjoying it all right for some reason i'm wanting to see what month is of importance to you guys right now i know this is your daily message that's okay i think i'm going to do my intuitive one for the general one general reading today I'm not sure what reading I'll do next. Is it time to do another you and them? I think we need another week or another few days. Okay, February. That is definitely um, Aquarius Pisces energy. And you got this, this card too. So there's something here. February. February. The winds are changing. I don't know why I feel like singing. Is somebody a singer? Do you like sing in a choir? I'm hearing it. I'm hearing you sing. And it feels, I love singing. It fills me with joy. Even if I'm off key, I don't care. The more you practice it, the more you enjoy it, the more in tune you get. And if you just remember that when you're singing, you're just speaking. You're not trying to sing. You're just speaking it. You'll find you can sing a lot better. All right. Don't know why that was important to tell you. Let's see what your angel number is here. <laughs> Told you there's some funny energies around today. Got 99, 99, and this is lessons learned. Okay, now I'm getting lessons, like music lessons. All right, this is the culmination of all of your skills, talents, efforts, something is coming together for you to celebrate here. The, there are good results and there are beautiful benefits of meeting a stranger, okay? Of taking a journey, of allowing things to develop on their own, of not tipping your hat or tipping your hat but not tipping your hand, okay? Reflection, keeping things to yourself, thinking about things through before you talk about them, before you share them. And this will be the completion. Okay, so take stock of your personal accomplishments and how you have arrived at those. This is a reminder for you to go ahead and maintain your optimistic outlook and continue to drive toward your goals. Maintain your momentum and understand that the powers of heaven have your back. You are about to make it and the reward will go to you. All right, my loves, if you're interested in personal reading, please email me. The special that I'm running right now is about to end. Uh, so email me and I'll send you all the details. Thank you to all of you who are still requesting information and booking readings. I appreciate you greatly. All right, we'll talk to you again soon. Much peace, love, and happiness.